When I turn the cheek, it's because I'm turning so I can make sure that I don't run into the door when I'm leaving out. I'm, you cheat on me, and I'm going to have you slam down the wall. That's why I leave. Unconditional love is a mental illness. I said it. Hey, y'all. So, I wanted to talk about something that I was talking to my mother about yesterday. So... I was talking to her about how I love Beyonce. I do love Beyonce. I want to just start off with that. But we was listening to one of her songs. It was like one of her older songs. Uh, basically, you could tell it was one of the times when, when Jay-Z was cutting up. So I was talking to her and I was telling her, I was like, you know, I said, I haven't been in a lot of different relationships because I, um, I'm quick to leave. And... Throughout a lot of my relationships, throughout all of the relationships that I did have, even like when it was just like a little freak buddy scenario. Hold on, because I got a candle behind here. I want to make sure I know. Okay. Even when it was like a little freak buddy situation, I don't, I don't have a tolerance for disrespect like i don't have a tolerance for disrespect i don't have a tolerance for like non-consideration i guess you would call it you get you get one time to send me off i'm not a you can send me off multiple times i'm not i'm not that type of girl i'm not a three strikes you out girl i'm a two times at best and then i'm done with you to the end of time i don't do the um back and forth i'm not a Okay, well, you know, he said that he was going to call me back. But, you know, he told me he was going to come and get me and I was dressed and then he didn't come. But, you know, I'm not finna trip on it because I know shit happens. Uh-uh. No, not with me. We're not talking anymore. That's it. That's dead. I really don't care what your excuse is because what you don't do is send me off. So, people get two times to do certain stuff. But sending me off, you only get one time to do that. And I'm done. If I'm in a relationship and we get in an argument and I feel like you are being narcissistic or you're trying to like turn something off on me or you're not trying to acknowledge your wrongs or your faults in a situation, I'm not dealing with that. I am very apologetic when I am, when I know that I'm being wrong, I'm very willing to listen to what you have to say. Cause sometimes I don't be feeling like I be wrong, but once I listen to a scenario, I'm like, you know what? Yeah, that wasn't considerate of me. Yeah, that was wrong. And I do apologize for that. I will apologize for it. But if it's one of those things where it's like, well, you had did this, that, mm -mm, you giving me narcissistic vibes and I don't tolerate that at all. I told my mother yesterday, I said, one thing I'm, all, I'm always ready to do is leave. Even if I could be madly in love with you, if I feel like you are not respecting my time, you're not respecting my presence, you're not respecting my energy, I'm not dealing with you. And I feel like if more people took that approach, the world would be a better place. It's so many women. It's so many women who deal with all kind of crap from men under the guise of like, he just don't realize the type of woman that I am. If he would, if he really like took the time to open his eyes to see the type of good woman that I am, then he would treat me better. No, he see the type of woman that you are. He sees. And the type of woman that you are is the type of woman that's continuously turning the other cheeks. I got two cheeks, but if I'm dealing with you, I ain't got none. I ain't got nothing. If I when when I turn a cheek, it's because I'm turning so I can make sure that I don't run into the door when I'm leaving out. I'm not a okay. I'm gonna give you another chance. I'm gonna get no. You cheat on me. That's it. That's it. I'm not a go cry in a room and then tell you how much of a dog you are, how much you hurt me, and then I will take you back. No. If I decide to take you back, it's gonna be a long time in between the time from the from the time you cheated. You gonna feel it, and by the time I decide to come back around, trust and believe, it's never gonna be the same. It's never gonna be the same. You don't get this candle got me nervous, but it's okay. You definitely don't get the same me twice. You do not get the same me twice. You cheat on me, and I'm gonna have you slam down the wall. That's why I leave. That's why I leave because men, they are a lot of men. I'm not gonna say all. I ain't even gonna say a lot. Some men, they are big on. You don't do what I do because I'm a man. And I don't run by those rules. I'm not a, um, well, men do this and you supposed to, no, I don't do that. I, I do what I want to do. And if I'm with you, I'm with you. Now, when I'm single, I'm single. When I'm single, I'm mingling. But if I'm with you, 
I do not cheat. I am not a cheater. And the fact that it would be very easy for me to cheat and I don't cheat is the main reason why I don't tolerate cheating from no man because it's like I took the time out to, to, to consider you to respect this relationship when I could have cheated on you at any point in time. But I care enough about you and I care enough about this relationship to not cheat on you and then you go and cheat on me. You're giving me the opposite energy. I don't want to hear no excuses. I hate Every time I hear somebody say, like, it was a mistake. It was a mistake that you cheated. So you didn't think to turn around when you got the proposition to cheat. You didn't think to turn around when y'all got to the place where you was going to cheat. You didn't think to turn around when you was on your way to go to the place before you cheated. You didn't think to turn around before you took your clothes off. You didn't think to turn around before she took her clothes off. You didn't think to turn around before y'all laid in the bed or sat on the counter or been in the bathroom. You didn't think to turn around none of that time. You didn't think to turn around when you was opening up the condom, wrap, condom wrapper. You didn't think to turn around when you was putting the condom on. You didn't think to turn around when she bent over. You didn't think to turn around when she opened her legs up. You didn't think to turn around on insertion. You didn't think to turn around at the first pump. You finished. You finished. What you're sorry about is that you got caught. What you're sorry about is that you didn't get to get each your have your cake and eat it too. That's what you're sorry about. You're not sorry that you cheated. It wasn't a mistake. Nobody mistakenly had sex with somebody. Nobody does that. Nobody does that. If somebody took advantage of you when you were under the influence, I absolutely apologize for that. But the person who did it to you, that was not a mistake. You were under the influence and not in your right mind, and that can be a mistake. But, I don't really even go for that because I have been drunk. And I remember having sex. Now, everybody ain't the same. Everybody not the same. Everybody is not the same. But me? Yeah. I remember. So, I don't have a lot of tolerance for stuff. I was in a relationship that was verbally abusive. I did a video on it. I think it's like a two-part video I did on that. And... That man, I loved him, but when I tell you, I was the worst version of me when I was with him, and I felt like we both did horrible shit to each other. We both was crazy with each other, but because I was in that mode, like, I'm not in a mind frame. I wasn't in a mind frame then that I'm in a mind frame now where it's like, okay, Candace, you did play a part in a lot of this stuff, but the, the magnitude to the what I had to deal with, it was like, nah, a lot of that stuff, that that's on you. Because some of this stuff ain't even real, like, legit. This man, this man woke me up and told, told me that he had a dream that a lady on the bus told him that I was cheating on him. And he spazzed the fuck out. When I tell you I did not cheat on this man, I did not cheat on this man. And if and, I, and if I talk to the man to this day, he's going to swear up and down that I cheat on him. When I tell you I did not cheat on this man, when we decided that we was not now another stupid thing is if you're going to be with somebody and y'all living together cuz we was living together, the one thing that you don't do, which I didn't realize how dumb and dangerous that was, is don't be like I'm breaking up with you and I'm going to be with other dudes. In the same house that we in. That's stupid. Don't do that. So I put that little bird out. And he was like, uh, bitch, one thing one thing for sure, uh, two things for certain. What you do got is me fucked up. So that was not smart at all. I really put myself in a bogus situation. But I still let it be known that, like, we're not together. Like, we wasn't sleeping in the same rooms or anything like that. But that was just that's not smart to do lady so if y'all living with y'all partner and y'all decide that y'all don't want to be together no more just leave don't do that stupid shit and be like well you know we single we together we we in the same house but we single because no you not no you not i hope it's enough light in here because if it ain't this video still going up <laughs> let me stop one thing about me um if i break up with you if we break up i am done with you I'm not, I don't, I, I cannot be friends with people that I was intimate with. I cannot. I cannot be friends with people that I had sex with. I cannot. That's me. It is plenty of people that can be friends with people that they slept with before. I cannot. I cannot. Because we broke up for a reason. And I could never look at you the same way because it's like, I remember when you took me through some shit. And I can be around people that take me through shit. Now, it's a lot of women that can be around people like that. Not me. 
not me. So like I was talking to my mom and I was telling her, I said, you know, all the relationships that I had been in, I was told that I was difficult. I was told that I was mean. I was told that I wasn't understanding. I was told that I was harsh. And so my mother said, she was like, she said, I don't believe that you were any of those things. She said the issue was you wasn't willing to deal with the shit that they were trying to take you through. And a lot of other women are. And I feel like when you meet a man, a lot of times he's been with women who have taken all types of bullshit off of him. And then you get with a woman like me that's like, I'm not taking none of it off. I'm not, not even a teaspoon for it. Not even a half of a teaspoonful. I'm not taking it. I could be madly in love with you. If you do some shit that is disrespectful to me, I'm not fucking with you no more. I'm going to cry in the car as I'm driving off and never coming back into your life. I'm going to go home. I'm going to feel the feelings. I'm going to go through what I'm going to go through. But I'm not coming back because at the end of the day, and I say this, I say this. You can love anybody you want to love, but baby, always love you more. Because they're going to love them more. They're going to love them more. Trust and believe. Always love you more. Always love you more. If you don't get shit else out of this video, always love you more. I feel like that's going to take you farther than anything else. Let's talk about unconditional love. Unconditional love... Is a mental illness. I said it. Maybe it ain't me talking. Maybe it's the apples to rock and orange shoes talking. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe because it's my second glass and I'm up at 12, 13 with an unnecessary amount of energy right now. Maybe, maybe that's what it is. But unconditional love for your child is different. Don't even unconditionally love your family. I would say. It should be conditions on that shit. Your children, that's different. But even sometimes your kid can do shit where you be like, nah, it was this one lady. I know I'm off topic, but she had a son and she had like three other kids and her son like flipped the fuck out and killed all her kids. All her kids. And they did an interview with her and they was like, you know, how do you feel about your son? Do you still love him? And she was like, no, that's, that's a point in time where it's like, fuck you. Like, I, I cannot. I can't love that. It's, it's certain shit that I feel like you cannot love past. And I feel like stuff like that. Now, with your children, um, a lot of times you will take a whole lot of stuff off of your kids. And, and that unconditional love is very different. But unconditional love for parents, I feel like that should not be a thing. Unconditional love for family, that should not be a, a thing. And unconditional love for partners definitely should not fucking be a thing. Unconditional love. Say it with me. The, the idea, in my opinion, to me, unconditional love is a mental illness. If you are out here unconditionally loving motherfuckers who you are in a relationship with, you need, th you need therapy. I said it. I said it, and, and I'm going to stand on it. I'm going to stand on it. I'm going to stand on it. You need therapy. You do. Because, to me... Unconditional love means under no conditions will I not love you. And to me, that's crazy. That's crazy. I could be in love with you, and if you cheat on me, I don't love you no more. My, my emotions will outweigh my, my emotions based on what you did, will outweigh the love that I felt for you 15 minutes before I found out that you did that. And so for me, unconditional love, I do not unconditionally love anybody. My child, I can't, I, I can't do the unconditional love. I've never, even family, like if family do you wrong, I've had family members that did me wrong and it's like, no. No, I do not love you. I do not. I do not wish bad upon you, but I do not love you. I don't have any love in my heart for you because of what you did. Some people don't deserve your love. Some people do not deserve your love. And that don't mean that you being as if some if you believe in God, that don't mean that you being ungodly. 
that that's that's being human everybody don't deserve your love everybody don't deserve your care and compassion my mother told me that she said that she um trust people first and then when they show her that they're not trustworthy she don't trust them i'm the opposite i don't trust your ass first and you gotta prove you have to earn my trust you don't you don't get my trust off the bat because you're a human naturally to me because you're a human you you are untrustworthy so I start off with the not trust. You have, you gotta earn my shit. You gotta earn my stuff. Now, maybe that's because that's a result of the things that I've been through in life. But when I tell you, like, I am not, I'm not, a, I'm not, a, I'm not, I don't believe in unconditional love under certain circumstances. I understand unconditionally loving your children, but if your mama treated you like shit your whole fucking life, and then she get older and she gets no, I'm sorry. No, because where, where was her unconditional love for you when she was bringing you down and got you growing up with all of these issues, these unresolved issues, because you didn't get the correct care from your mother? Where was that at? Where was where was that unconditional love at when your mama kicked you out at 18? Because that's what that's what's supposed to happen. That's another. I'm gonna do another video on that. That dumb shit, too. But and that's that's prevalent amongst black people. I don't know about other races, but I know for sure black people we big on that stupid shit and i'm gonna talk about that as well because it's it's circus there's certain circumstances where it's like yeah i get it but then there's other ones where i'm like mm, no that don't do that but yeah so unconditional love like you should unconditionally love yourself you should automatically love yourself more and i feel like it's a lot of people who don't love themselves more they don't even love themselves enough. So they look to other people to give them that love that they wasn't getting or that they didn't get when they was young. You unconditionally love people. You open yourself up for people to treat you any kind of way because their thing is you're going to you're going to still love me. That that opens yourself up for you being in a relationship and you like I unconditionally love him. He keep cheating on you. He keep beating you. He keep verbally abusing you. He keep mistreating you. He don't treat your kids right. If y'all got kids together, he don't treat the kids together. Y'all got right. He ain't a good stepfather. If if he if 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 he come in as a stepfather, he's not he's not a good person. But because you're like I need to unconditionally love him, you sit and deal with all of this bullshit. And now you sitting up here. All your damn hair done fell out and you got ulcers because you up here unconditionally loving him so much that you don't forget how to love yourself you don't forget how to love the people around you because you've put so much unconditional love into this person that this person is destroying you and when people know that you will be there for them without a shadow of a doubt sometimes a lot of times they will misuse that and they will misuse you don't be to my subscribers, the people who not subscribed yet, I feel like society makes it seem like it's wrong to put yourself first. And it's not. Because if you don't put yourself first, who finna put you first? You think another person gonna put you first? No. That other person gonna put them first. Because they get it. They get the whole, I love me more. That's what I tell people all the time. They be like, you act like you don't love me. No, I love you, but I love me more. And because I love me more... I know what I will and will not tolerate. I know what will and will not have me up at night like Candace. Why the hell would you allow this person to do this to you? You ain't finna keep me up in my head at night. Uh-uh. Not unless I'm reminiscing on that good good. But that's it. You're not finna have me up in my head. I, I done been there. I done been down that road. I done been down that road while I done been sitting up in bed like I can't believe. I can't believe. That actually happened. I can't believe that I actually let this person get get me like this. And that shit feel weird. That feel weird because I'm an emotional thug, y'all. Y'all know. I don't, I don't let too many people get to me. I find men who... And it's nothing wrong with this, but this is just not for me. I find men that want to be needed and not wanted. Now, for me, the way that I think, and I feel like that society as well, society has really put up um, parameters, I guess you could say, as far as like 
what a man's role is and what a woman's role is and so it's like i feel like because men have been put in the role of like men are supposed to be providers and stuff like that they come to women like when they meet with women they're like you know i'm here to fulfill something I, i'm here to for because you need me to do something and i'm like i don't need you but i want you and for me a want is better than a need i feel like it's, it's many ways that you could look at this. I feel like when you need somebody, when that person meets that need, then you're not going to need them anymore. But some people could say when you want somebody, when you get what you feel like you wanted from them, then you won't want them anymore. So there's different ways that you could spend that. But I don't need a man. I want a man. I want that companionship. I want that other half. I want that. And I ain't going to even say other half because I'm whole, baby. I'm very much so whole. I'm not one of them like, you complete me. Nope. I was 360 degrees. I was whole, baby. When you came upon me, I was whole. Flaws and all. I was already whole. I was a circle. I was complete. You're adding to me. You are the parsley on the plate. You are the dollop of sour cream that make the plate look pretty the plate is already together but you that little dollop that makes it look you know cute i'm that's just the type that's just how i look at it i don't need a man to um be with me now i do need i do need a man to, i do need a man to come and you know push my wig back you know I, I i need you for that now let, let me tell you something daddy i need that i do need that now now you want to be needy mm -hmm, mm -hmm. i need that yeah but like as far as like a lot of other things i'm like i want you like i want you here i don't need you here but i'm like i want you here i don't i don't need you to buy me shit i want you to buy me shit but i don't need you to buy me shit i, I got my own 40 dollars. i got 40 dollars for me and you Excuse me, I got $40 for me and you, but I need you to have your own $40 so you don't be asking me for my $40 because if we both got $40, then we got $80 together. And we could do some shit. We could do some shit. We can do some shit with that young 80. We can do some shit with them with them two them, them two checks, them, them two pieces of sh money. We could do something with that. So, that be my thing. Like, in relationships, I get with people and they're like, um, you... You treat me like you don't need me. And it's like, I don't need you. Like, why you want me to need you? But I feel like it's society that makes men feel like they're supposed to be needed. And I feel like that's a lot of pressure to put on a group of people. Like, yeah, damn. So y'all just walking around, like, looking for women who need y'all for shit? It's like, no. I want you. I want you. I, I want you to come over here and compliment my my life compliment my journey compliment my everything and i want to compliment yours i don't want you to need me i want you to want me as well i don't want you to cling to me because i fulfill something in you that wasn't fulfilled when you was by yourself i don't want that i want you to come to me whole because i'm coming to you whole i'm not a builder I don't care how many Ikea products I put together. I'm not a builder. So I cannot I cannot build you up no more than you're already built up. Now, I will lift you up to the sky. I will reassure you and reaffirm in you that you have always and will forever more be the shit. And even when you feel like you are not the shit, look in the mirror and know that you are the shit. You're just having a bad day today, daddy. That's it. That's it. But I wouldn't be with you if you wasn't, if you wasn't everything. And then some. I wouldn't be with you if you wasn't a whole Sunday with a cherry on top. So understand that that's what it is. Understand that you are everything that you want to be and even more. This is just, this today is not your day. Tomorrow will be better. Now, now, if you fuck up, I won't say you fucking up. But I'll say like, sir, um, get that shit in order. And I expect you to come me on my shit as well. Because I feel like in a relationship, that's something that is needed. I just feel like society has just really jacked up the perception on relationships the perception on like what a female's role is what a woman's role is what a male man's role is i just kind of feel like they have really 
twisted it and turned it into something so distasteful and so unappealing that it has the sexes like at each other like goddamn i'll be on tiktok and they're like black men ain't shit and black men don't treat women right and they just basically want to just take advantage and i'm like damn black men they don't want to please a woman they just want to get them like damn you know as cat williams said don't be so specific don't say all men say the men that you deal with because i have i have had the privilege and the honor to when i tell you i've had men that are pleasers and i'm talking about the physical aspect of it complete pleasers i didn't say are you a pleaser because that's what i'm looking for they came to me as pleaser i didn't even know i was a pleaser they was a pleaser till it was happening to be pleasing i'm talking complete pleasers so i'm like i i've never been with somebody that wasn't trying to please me now they they might have fucked up and i ended up dropping them because they did some shit that i just was like yeah I don't, mm -mm. you did it twice you did it twice i said something to you the first time and then you did it again and that's why i'm gone but nobody's perfect and i'm not looking for nobody perfect i don't expect nobody to be perfect but at the same time there's certain shit that you should not be doing in relationships there's just certain shit that you should not be doing in relationships and, it, and those are the things that i'm just like yeah no but i say all that to say um and i'm gonna close this out because i don't know how long this is and this goddamn sarah got me just babbling but it's okay to take your time in relationships it's okay to just want a physical relationship it's not okay to let people run over you it's not okay for you to sit and just accept anything under the guise of unconditional love and unconditional love That shit is that shit is different. That shit is it's weird to me, when, especially when it comes to relationships. Now I'm gonna take everything else off the table. This is the end of the video. They be like, God damn, you waited all this time. We could take everything else off. No, I ain't gonna take it off the table. I'm gonna leave it on the table. Everybody don't deserve your unconditional love. Your children, I understand, but parents, family members, relationships like with other people, no. Your love should be conditional it should be conditional you should not let nobody run over you because you unconditionally love you love them I give a, let, let that religion stuff go about oh when the bible is no no this is not in the bible this is in the real world and in the real world you getting your ass treated by your boyfriend because you over here unconditionally loving him while you slam down the damn wall every other weekend because he keep cheating on you with the girl around the corner so no ain't no unconditional love when your girlfriend is sitting up here sleeping with your with, with your best friend that ain't that's not no unconditional love no shouldn't nobody have you sliding down no damn wall do not do not don't let nobody have you sliding down no wall so you should who do we unconditionally love who 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 that's right ourselves just because you do not unconditionally love somebody that don't mean that you wish them bad that's not saying that because i don't unconditionally love you i want something bad to happen to you it's like no it's it's i i am the ruler of my love and i decide who gets it when they get it and how much of it they get i i decide the intensity of it i decide the percentage of it i decide the length of it i decide the reason for it you decide that you decide who you unconditionally love and how you unconditionally love and when and if you unconditionally love you decide that nobody else and don't let nobody make you feel no type of way because you choose you choose you all the time L love yourself i had to talk with my mom and when i tell you it was so enlightening because i felt like it was something wrong with me for a minute and my mom's like no you're not you're not willing to take people's shit and they're not used to that and because you're so willing to i stand on my love for myself so hard that i am willing to let you go 
for me. I am willing to go through the hurt and the grievance and the grief of you not being in my life no more because I'm going to choose me every time. I choose me every single time, every single day, every single way, always and always. I choose me. And that is the reason why my relationships have been far and few in between because I choose me. And a lot of men are not used to women choosing them. A lot of women are not used to men choosing them because it's a lot of men who deal with a lot of shit off of females too. It's not just women dealing with shit off of men. Men deal with shit off of women as well. Choose you. I don't care who watched this video, what your pronouns are. what Baby, choose you. Thank y'all for coming to my TED Talk.